Sources close to the Prince of Wales claim he will react with fury after footage from an infamous interview with Diana, Princess of Wales, with former BBC journalist Martin Bashir appeared in Harry and Meghan's new Netflix docuseries. Prince William said previously the program, which was first broadcast in 1995, should never appear on screens again. Sources close to William said he would feel dismayed his brother had blatantly gone against his wishes with another source claiming that it shows just how little regard there is from the Sussex camp. One source told The Mirror, he, William, will be rightly furious about it. He couldn't have been clearer in the past and this is one thing he would have thought he and Harry were aligned on. Sadly once more it shows the gulf between the two brothers couldn't be wider. Three episodes of the couple's documentary were streamed on Netflix this morning. Prince William will be furious footage of his mother has been used in Harry and Meghan's documentary Image, Getty, an image of Harry and Meghan which appears in the Netflix documentary Image, Netflix, Poll. Do you think the royal family let Meghan and Harry down? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down from their roles as senior royals two years ago. The couple's highly anticipated Netflix docuseries Harry Meghan has now been released, sharing insight into their lives and decision to leave the firm. But do you think the royal family let Meghan and Harry down? Vote in our poll here. Halfway through the first episode, clips are shown of Diana speaking in the controversial Panorama interview. Before the clip appears, Harry, speaking of his mother's struggles with press intrusion, says, I think she had a lived experience of how she was struggling living that life. She felt compelled to talk about it. Especially in that Panorama interview. I think we all now know that she was deceived into giving the interview. But at the same time she spoke the truth of her experience. Read about a drug dealer's threat after ramming police cars a black and white image of Meghan while pregnant which appears in the show, Image, Netflix, Harry and Meghan in the Netflix series, Image, Netflix. A report by Lord Dyson published in May 2021 found the BBC had covered up Mr. Bashir's deceit in obtaining the interview, falling short of high standards of integrity and transparency. The journalist was in serious breach of the BBC's producer guidelines when he faked bank statements and showed them to Diana's brother Earl Spencer to gain access to the princess, the report said. In a damning statement issued after the publication of the report, William said, It is my firm view this panorama program holds no legitimacy and should never be aired again. It effectively established a false narrative which, for over a quarter of a century, has been commercialized by the BBC and others. Don't miss, Meghan rages at orchestrated reality show of engagement interview, report. Turkish MP hospitalized after parliament descends into vicious brawl, revealed, Putin modifies Iranian drones for cold weather, latest. Harry's life in pictures, image, express, trending William added, it is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. The Duke of Sussex said he felt deeply concerned journalistic practices like those used by Mr. Bashir were widespread today and were bigger than one outlet, one network, or one publication. He said, the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life. The BBC apologized to the royal family. BBC Director General Tim Davey vowed the BBC would never show the program again nor license it to other broadcasters. William and Kate during their trip to Boston, Image, Getty. Royal experts were quick to spot use of the footage. Robert Jobson tweeted, Prince Harry has used footage from hashtag Diana Panorama interview in a Netflix documentary. 
Prince William said after Dyson report it should not be aired again. Harry said, the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and ethical practices ultimately took her life. Dickie Arbiter tweeted, how come at Netflix were allowed to use footage from hashtag Diana hashtag panorama interview in documentary? 20 minutes into the first episode hashtag Harry talks about mother and compares hashtag Meghan to his mum saying she has the same confidence, passion and warmth. Meanwhile, Netflix has offered viewers a first look at the second volume of episodes from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex controversial docuseries. A 30-second teaser available at the end of the third episode suggests they will tackle the couple's decision to quit the monarchy, dubbed Megxit, and ultimately move to the US. A voice can be heard referencing their decision to take a step back from their royal duties. Meghan follows, saying to the camera, this is when a family and a family business are in direct conflict. Harry then adds, everything that's happened to us was always going to happen to us. His remark is made against images of Buckingham Palace and newspapers flashing across the screen. Meghan adds, suddenly what clicked in my head was, it's never going to stop. The teaser ends with Harry saying, there was no other option at this point. I said, we need to get out of here.